Accentuated by the artist's use of alizarin crimson, often used to paint blood. It makes for a truly evocative frame in which to nestle such a powerful visage. And the artist has mainly used round and filbert brushes to perfect the curvature of the model's features. Is that a guy or a girl? Does it matter? <laughs> Fair enough. It's an awesome piece. Well, if you like that, I think you'll absolutely love this piece. It just came in last week. Oh, no flash photography, sir. Oh, sorry, it's just, uh, don't get to see a lot of indie portrait exhibition these days. Portraiture has always been my thing. <laughs> what can I show you next? Uh, well, I've had a good look around, actually, and I can't really find what I came to see. It's the, uh, Prime Minister's portrait. Arriving tomorrow, sir. It'll be on display in our main exhibition room, exclusively for the weekend. Got it. Well, guess I'll have to come back then. Thank you again for visiting, sir. Please, call me Taylor. Uh, is she all right with those easels? Oh, uh, uh, don't mind her. She's just my intern. All right. Anyway, uh, Taylor, I'm Morgan. Pleasure's all mine, Morgan. Uh, if you don't mind my asking what time you finish, maybe I could hear some more critiques over a drink. Oh, wow. And <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm full of surprises, me. It takes guts to approach a woman in her place of work. <laughs> well, how else would you ask someone out? You're a bit younger than what I usually go for. <laughs> Or age is just a number in my mind. The bar on the high street. 8 p.m. Uh. See you then. How many customers was that for the day? Five. Was that the last of the easel, Sam? Yes, it seems. I arranged them in the storeroom and cleaned the toilets just like the boss. Is there anyone else left in the building? No, it's just us. I'll lock up early then. <sighs> Is there something wrong with your back? No, it's nothing. Um, I took some painkillers in the office. OK. We've got a big weekend ahead. I need you fighting fit. <laughs> of course, I will be. There is one thing, Morgan. Um, I've been interning here for a while now, and I've learned so much from you, um, including what you look for in good portraiture. Oh, Sam, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we just haven't been turning over enough for me to pay you. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. Oh. Do you think it's good enough to have a small part in the exhibition this weekend? Um, let me take a closer look. Hmm. I think... It looks right at home. Congratulations, Sam. You have your first exhibited piece of art. 
I don't know what to say. Oh, you don't need to say anything. Your talent earned this. Thank you so much, Morgan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now go home and get some rest. We're going to have a lot more customers this weekend. I'll be in early to help you receive the Prime Minister's portrait. Portrait of the Prime Minister is going on display at Argyle Manor. The painting was done by none other than Turner Prize winning portraitist Nicky Dryden Oaks. Britain has been torn asunder! Hardship is befalling the populace like a plague! What is our future? It What is our future? Hey, what's going on here? Was he threatening you, madam? No, you need to oh, listen to me. Right, all right, quiet down, quiet down. Yes, um, he, he snuck up on me and shouted at me and he destroyed my radio. All right, fella, don't make this difficult. You're under arrest for disturbing the peace, mate. I'll take him to the road and radio in for a car to pick him up. Yeah, don't forget to read him his rights as you go. Yeah. Come on. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. <sighs> Is it broken? Seems like it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Looks an expensive model, too. It was. Well... Me and my partner will be on duty locally through the night. We'll be alert to any disturbances. Appreciate it. Is that your disappointed face? Oh, Nikki, of course not. You'd never see that. It, it's my extremely surprised face. <laughs> <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure, Miss Dryden Oaks? Well, I was just passing through the area. I, I did see some police hanging about outside, though. Oh, just checking up ahead of tomorrow. Uh, let me show you the exhibition room. Mm. That's very 1970s too. Oh, the manners, electrics haven't been refined for a while, but they'll be back on shortly. Ah, as if by magic. <laughs> and uh, I've made space, especially. Oh, well. It'll be the absolute centerpiece. You won't need that much space. Uh, oh, you brought it. <laughs> uh, what about the scheduled delivery? I cancelled it, don't worry. I thought you'd appreciate a personal delivery. Who knows? The extra attention might even reel in some buyers for these others. Oh, but profits are from admission only. Everything else is about showcasing the portraits. Questionable business model. You gonna get that? Uh, no, it's not, um... urgent. Nikki, uh, not here. No better place. You owe me this much, don't you?
<sighs> I knew no one would disturb us. Now, guard that case with your life. I, I will, Nikki. I promise. Morgan Haynes speaking. The exhibition's closed for the day. Hi, Morg. It's me. Again? Look, sorry to pest that. Uh, you'd think I was the baby of the family, wouldn't you? Jamie, I can't talk to you. Yeah, no, all it is is um, I just need somewhere to bed down over the weekend. And it's the last time, all right? I promise. I'm not in a position to help you anymore. No, but I'll, I'll repay you with interest. I can get some um, like investors for your gallery and um, I'll sort it all out. You're still here. Who's that? Well, that's no one. I told you to clear this up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you fucking dare. Look, Morg, I've got... I've got no one else to call. Oi, oi, seriously, Beth, leave it. My name isn't Beth, you twat. I don't give a fuck, Betty. It's not Betty, either. I hope you don't mind me borrowing the armchair. Oh, no, um, of course not. That's, that's what they're out for, customers. It's a bit rickety. Could do with a refurb. I'm looking to paint a copy of one of your... I'm port. sorry, sir. We're closed. Well, you don't usually close this early, do you? No, but uh, we, we've got a big weekend and so... Hang on, how did you get in? Uh, the front door should have been locked. I'm afraid it wasn't. I typed in my passcode and saw it lock, I'm sure of it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I walked right in. Sorry for the confusion, sir. It must have been an error or something. It's all right. These things happen. And don't worry, I turned the lock with my own hands after I came in. <laughs> Wouldn't want someone lifting these beautiful paintings. Well, they aren't quite Rembrandt's. Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? A well-versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. Look, sir, we have a big day tomorrow. We're, we're closing early. Oh, the uh, dried Noakes portrait of the Prime Minister. <laughs> How did you pull that off? I met Nikki at a function at the World Trade Center in New York. We hit it off. We finally found a way to collaborate. Wow. <laughs> An artist with Nikki's profile helping out a well, small exhibition like that is quite something. She's doing me a great favor. With no strings attached, too. I'm Dorian. Uh, Morgan. Dorian, like. Uh, Dorian Gray. <laughs> Ironic, eh? Oh, it's a lovely name. <laughs> I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. You mean forger? A faithful reproduction is a fine art in itself. Although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. <laughs> Touché. I've been struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. I never had the talent myself, so I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who do. 
in that case, could I paint you? You make such an amazing subject in so many ways. You're really quite enthralling. I suppose I could spare half an hour. <laughs> Brilliant. Let me just reconfigure. <laughs> you prefer to paint standing? Always. It allows me to zoom in and out on my subject. Uh, how are you going to pose? Um, oh, um, oh, I, I, I don't know. I've, um, it's harder than I thought. <laughs> Perfect. Stay like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I can have uh, some strong opinions. It was uh, bold, but valid. Rembrandt stole his students' work for the last 10 years of his career. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, plastic bottle. Fancy. Mm. Huh. Uh, let's leave it there for tonight. I could uh, sit for you again next week. Let me do your skin tone as a base. <laughs> no, Dorian, I need to get home. I'm not asking for much longer. I know how you artists can get. If I let you start, we will be here all night. All right, uh, this is over. I'm done. I really wouldn't, you know. Stand up and this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Feel under your seat. That is a PAD, a pressure-activated detonator. A bomb, Morgan. Similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark which triggers the detonator. Once you sat down on that chair, you became the safety pin. This isn't real. <laughs> no. Well, go on. Try it. <laughs> You've never been someone's muse, have you? Like Victorian Mourant and Manet. Do you want money? Or a to Picasso. Uh, uh, I could write you a check. Or a painting. Times uh, you you could take any one of these. Dorian, what do you want? Behind the drapes. Multiple sockets. Fancy. Someone's really trying to get hold of you. Morgan, are you there? Morgan! Uh, yes, Nikki. I am. Um... 
I need you again. I'll be at the Rampton. I've booked our usual suite. I'll make my excuses at home. But Nikki, tonight I really can't... Think very carefully about the next word that comes out of your mouth. I'll take your silence as a yes. Don't let me down.